Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to solve another question of Jam 2024 Chemistry paper. It is based on the finding out the number of DD transitions and the concept of Orgel diagram. The question is the number and the nature of DD transition or transitions in case of scandium 2 plus in octahedral crystal field. What is the meaning of that? It is a scandium 2 plus ion and it is a octahedral complex. It is a octahedral complex. So, four options are given. For, first is for the number of DD transition and second whether it is spin allowed or Laporte allowed uh, transition. So, let us first understand what is the spin selection rule. Okay, spin selection rule says that the change in the spin that is delta S, okay, change in the spin, spin multiplicity should be 0. Okay, or we can say the total spin should be 0. Change in S, that is delta S, okay, the total spin should be equal to 0. Okay, so what is, what is the meaning of that? The transition can occur from singlet to singlet. Okay, singlet to singlet or triplet to triplet states, but change in the spin multiplicity is forbidden. Okay, that is spin multiplicity should not change. That means the total spin should also remain same because what is the formula for spin multiplicity? Sm that is spin multiplicity is 2s plus 1. Okay, and what is s? s is the total spin. Okay, so if the total spin is same, spin multiplicity will also be same. Now, for scandium 2 plus, what is the atomic number for scandium? It is 21. So, electronic configuration is argon 3d1 4s2. Okay, scandium 2 plus is given. 2 plus means you will remove 2 loosely bound, 4s electrons will be removed. Okay, so what will be the electronic configuration for scandium 2 plus? It is ar3d1. So, there is only one electron in the d orbital. Okay, it is a tetrahedral, it is a octahedral complex. So, if you see the splitting of the orbitals in an octahedral field, it is lower energy, we have T2G. Okay, and then there are higher energy EG orbitals. Okay, there is only one single electron that is present. Okay, so this is the initial spin. Initial spin is how much? There is only one electron, so it is half. Okay, now after I do the transition here, what will be the total spin? Okay, S2 also that is the final spin also you can see there is only one electron. So, again the S2 that is the total spin is half. So, what will be delta S? Okay, spin multiplicity if I find out spin multiplicity initial spin multiplicity is how much? 2 into S that is total spin is half plus 1. Okay, so 1 plus 1 that is 2 and final spin multiplicity also if you calculate it will be how much 2 into half plus 1 that is also 2. So, spin multiplicity change in the spin multiplicity is 0. Okay, so this is what this is following spin selection rule that is we can say it is a spin allowed transition. Okay, so now the second thing is what we have to check is Okay, second thing what we have to check is whether it is Laporte allowed or not. So, what does the Laporte selection rule states? The Laporte selection rule states that the change in the delta L, the change in the L, L is what? L is the azimuthal quantum number or we can also say angular momentum quantum number. Azimuthal quantum number, this should be what? This should be change in the azimuthal quantum number should be plus or minus 1. Okay, we know that if it is a s orbital, the value of l is what? It is 0. p orbital it is 1, d orbital it is 2 and for f orbital it is 3. So, when we are doing a dd transition, Okay, when we do a DD transition, these are also D orbitals, these are also D orbitals. 
so for this l1 is what l1 is 2 and here also the value of l is 2 okay so the spin the dd transition takes place from lower energy okay t2 g2 higher energy eg okay this is a dd transition so initially it was 2 and final azimuthal quantum number is also 2 so what will be delta l delta l will be 2 minus 2 which is equal to 0 so does this follow laporte selection rule the answer is no because delta l should be either plus or minus 1 okay it is 0 in this case in case of dd transition it is 0 so this is what this is laporte forbidden okay so now if you see the options okay in the options uh, we can eliminate two options now which two options i can eliminate spin allowed correct spin allowed correct laporte is forbidden okay so c and d are incorrect now what we have to do is we have to find out the total total how many dd transitions are possible so for that what we have to do is we have to uh, find out the or we have to calculate the uh, org orgal diagram that is the ground state term for d1 okay scandium 2 plus is what it is d1 system okay 3d1 so if i want to calculate the total value of l okay ground state the general uh, symbol for ground state term is l and here as a superscript we write 2s plus 1 this is nothing but the spin multiplicity spin multiplicity okay there is only one electron okay plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 and minus 2 these are the ml values so only one electron is present so 1 into the value of ml is what it is plus 2 so the total value of capital l it is what it is plus 2 so if it is 0 the ground state term is s if it is 1 it is 2 if it is okay if it is 1 it is p if it is 2 it is d and if it is 3 it is f so here the value is plus 2 so 2 means the ground state term is d so for that ground ground state term d this is the orgal diagram as you can see here okay and it is what d1 and it is a octahedral complex okay so find out where is d1 this is d1 octahedral okay this is d1 tetrahedral we are talking about octahedral so we, we will see this side okay so the ground term is what uh, the ground energy level is t2g and the higher energy level is eg okay so how many dd transitions are possible there is only one possible transition from t2g to eg there is only one possible dd transition okay, because there are only two energy levels okay one possible transition so what is our correct answer one and spin allowed three incorrect both these are incorrect c and d because it is laporte forbidden and not laporte allowed so what is the correct answer for this question it is option a okay that is one and spin allowed uh, i hope you have understood the solution how do you find out the ground state term okay and then uh, what is the spin selection rule how do you find out whether it is spin allowed or spin forbidden and whether it is a spin uh, laporte allowed or laporte forbidden transition thank you